Hey, what's up, World Wide Web? This is Ken from Mahalo.com. Now, I taught you how to import footage into iMovie. Well, now let's start working with that footage. I'm going to teach you how to add that footage to your timeline, how to move it around, how to clip it, all that kind of stuff so we can get started in our movie making process. Are you guys ready? I know I am. Let's do it. All right, now you may be thinking to yourself, Self, Kenny taught me all this stuff, and now I don't even know what to do with it. Well, all right, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add clips to your project library, trim, delete, all kinds of cool stuff so we can start off with our movie making process. You guys ready? I know I am. Well, let's go. Well, I'm going to teach you a couple of different tricks of adding media to your project library. If we just click on our film strip right here, iMovie captures about four seconds, which is a good rule of thumb in filmmaking, especially you don't want to have a shot that's like 12 seconds and it just kind of drags on and you just have your friends and family just wondering when is this video going to be over. You want to have at least four seconds to keep it interesting and to keep, you know, your viewers interested in what you're doing. One way, so I can go ahead and click anywhere on these film strips and get four seconds. But if I want a more manual approach, I can click and then drag my slider over here into the shot I want. So that's them entering the restaurant and running. Looks pretty right. That's about 6.8 seconds. So we'll slow it down. And you can see the duration of the time right there. So 5.4, we'll do it five seconds. And we'll hit E, bam, command shortcuts. Those are the things to work with. Well, they make working a lot faster and you look a lot cooler with someone's watching you. Just like, oh, look at this. Just added that in there. All right, so let's hit Command Z because we don't want two of the same clip. We'll just come around. So we've entered the restaurant. And then we can go ahead and choose this right here. And that's 4.1 seconds. And instead of dragging it, if you forget that command shortcut, all you have to do is click and drag. So then you have two options, guys. You can hit E or you can just click and drag it into the timeline. So we have here, and if in case you're wondering what this purple line is, well, that's a feature called the People Finder, and that's where you can go ahead and locate shots with people in them. But that's a future tutorial, and that's on this syllabus, so go ahead and check it out. So we'll go ahead and hit E. Now I'll give you one example of maybe you have a shot and it's just way too long, and we'll throw it in there, and you can see, wow, that's kind of 26 seconds, and. You know, there's some shots that I want to cut off because it's kind of, it's kind of like moving around a lot. And there's some people that I want in the shot. Well, I can do just basically the same way I select media to put in my project library. Let's go ahead and click and drag. So I have this selection right here. It's about 10 seconds of film that I don't want in my project. Well, since I have that selected, I can go ahead and hit delete. Now it's not going to delete it from iMovie or anything like that, it just deletes it from my project library. So I've kind of trimmed down that clip, so that's a good way to trim it down. So let's see, I cut to some like B-roll footage of the restaurant. Okay, so, and I just want to cut off this guy walking right here in front of my shot, and I'll just go ahead and click and drag and hit delete. And you see right there, I've trimmed my clip. Now you may be thinking to yourself, hey Kenny, what's this blue thing right here? Well, that's this audio button right here and you always wanna have that on. And if you look at it, it says, show or hide audio waveforms. It's definitely must have, because then from right there, I'm gonna give you another tutorial. Why not, because I can. And if we just go ahead and click on that line, we can raise or lower the volume on that specific clip. We can mute it just by going all the way down. Or maybe if the clip was kind of low and you couldn't really understand, we can raise it. Yeah, there we go. Now that we have our media in there, well, let's say I have this footage, but it was also part of a longer day, and I want to put some footage of us going to the restaurant. And here's a cool little feature. I can go to iPhoto videos and access all the videos that are in my iPhoto. And we'll go ahead and get this video of us leaving Angel's flight and I want to put that in my video so we'll go ahead and hit E well there's a problem look at that that's actually before we go to Clifton's and that's really easy to do if I want to move this clip to the beginning I just click and drag and you're gonna see this green line right here indicating where I'm going to put that clip and I want to put it in the front so there we go 
and let's go look for some more footage. Here's some footage of us walking towards Clifton's. And all right, we'll hit E. Or I don't have to hit E, I can hit Command Z, or I can gra grab this footage and just move it right there to the beginning. And I'm like, whoops, moves it to the wrong place. Although well, we can take care of that. We just click and drag it to the location that we want. So now that I have us leaving, To your sister. That's how you can add clips from your event library to your project library and move them around. With these simple techniques, you're going to get started on your movie making process. Well guys, this has been Ken from Mahalo.com and thank you for watching. If you guys have any requests for videos, please send them in to request at Mahalo.com.